Hey YouTube, I am back for my second video of the day. I'm on a roll and I wanted to come to y'all and show y'all and share with you what's been taking up the majority of my time for the past eight or nine months and the reason why I was not able to record a video in addition to school and you know other stuff but this has been taking up a lot of my time and I'm very proud of it and I'm very excited actually to present it to y'all. I may not look like it but I am very excited to show it to y'all and um, I hope y'all share my excitement <laughs> because um, I'm kind of nervous to share it but no, I'm not. I'm not that nervous. But I'm, I'm really excited. And I hope y'all can tell and feel that I really put a lot into this. Um, For the past, I guess, maybe about 10 months or so, I've been really focusing on creating my own bath and body product line. And I was finally able to get it done. And I actually launched it in February, um, which was last month. And I'm very proud of it. I put a lot of work into it, a lot of thought, you know, um, a lot of research, and I'm very, very pleased with the end result. And I've been getting a lot of positive, just excellent, phenomenal feedback. Like, everybody's been showing me much love on it, and everybody loves the product. So, very excited about that. Um, but I did want to come and show y'all what the products actually are and just give you a little bit of information about my company. My um, company is called Ombrio, so my my products are called Ombrio's Collection. And right now I have four products that I, I started out that I launched with. And just to give you an idea of what my products are, they are natural products. And when I say natural, I mean I don't have any artificial um, preservatives. I limit my artificial ingredients. The only artif artificial ingredient that's in my products are the fragrances um and that's because people want fragrance and i struggled with this i was going to just do like essential oils but i really wasn't feeling the essential oil smells to be honest with you i like essential oils for certain things but i did not like them for all of my products so i do have um artificial fragrances if that's what you you know want to want to call it um but you also have the option of getting the products unscented if you don't want anything but 100 percent natural that can be done by eliminating the fragrance um that was really big for me because once i decided to go natural i was really researching ingredients and everything and products and it was important to me to not contribute further contribute to um, a lot of the mess that we are presented with and we have to put on our face and on our body and in our hair and, you know, that we eat. So I didn't want to be another product line presenting that type of stuff. So, you know, I really researched and made sure that I put out a product that did not have that, that was focused on being healthy and actually nourishing your skin. That's my main goal. The scent was secondary to being a good product. Like, I wanted my product to be beneficial to skin. I'm an esthetician and I understand how important it is to take care of your skin. And not just your face, not just your facial skin, all of your skin. And that was really important to me. So, I really wanted to put out a product that did that. And I think that's what I um, I came up with and I'm very proud of it. So, without much more rambling, let me show you um, what I developed and my four products that I started out, I'm starting out with. Um, the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is my, my bath and body oil. Um, this is the bottle here. It comes in an eight ounce bottle. Um, I picked everything I, I did for the company. I did it for a reason. Right down to the color of the bottle or the color of my packaging. I selected an amber color because um, you guys probably know that like from essential oils, if you ever noticed, they're typically in an amber color glass. And that's because the dark color helps minimize the amount of light that actually gets into the bottle or the container and 
keeps your oils as fresh as possible for as long as they can. This is not glass, so this is not the same level of protection as a amber glass bottle, but this still offer another layer of protection versus a clear or just a frosted container. So that was my purpose behind choosing this color. Um, my body oil contains good oils for you have antioxidants. Um, what else? Um, jojoba oil is in here, grapeseed oil, peach kernel oil, cherry kernel, high in antioxidants, high in vitamin A, perfect for your skin. Um, the number one feedback that I got from this oil is that even though it's an oil, it's not oily, it's not super greasy, it's easily absorbed into your skin. It only takes a few drops. Literally, like if you're putting it on the back of your hand, you probably only need about two drops. Like I just put two drops and that was look like a little bit too much. Highly absorbent, goes right into your skin, and light oil. Wonderful. Um, you can also use it in your hair. It can be sealed. Sometimes in the morning when I do my hair, I have to seal it. You know, you can use olive oil or whatever. Or you can do something that smells good. And I put this in there sometimes. Um, you can also pour it straight into your bath water and have a nice, refreshing, moisturizing, relaxing bath at the end of the day. I have done that as well. That is the bomb. That was that was good. I like that. Um, my next thing I'm going to show you guys. I have two scrubs. Um, this is the first one I'm going to show you. This is my body polish. Okay. So this is your typical, not your typical, but it's an oil and sugar scrub. So it has oil and sugar um, in there. I use organic raw sugar. So no refined white sugar, pure organic raw sugar. Um, it's a very coarse grain. So this is more um, for people that, like me, I have really scaly skin. So like my feet, um, the back of my thighs, I have to really exfoliate that. My shins get really real flaky i don't know what's going on with that but that was a problem for me um it's, it's clearing up now because i've been using my shea butter scrub for a while but for some reason like my shins i don't it's like the worst part of my body because really scaly but this is perfect for a pedicure perfect for your feet ladies springtime is coming and we got to get our feet together this is perfect because it's a really aggressive scrub and it really um, smooth away all that rough skin that you know we've been building up all winter long um like i said it's a very coarse scrub here okay so that's the body polish that's the sugar and oil scrub my second scrub is my um whipped shea butter scrub and this is my favorite product and the reason why I really like this, this is a, a softer, more gentler scrub. So it's not as aggressive as the body polish, but it still has exfoliating properties. But it's, to me, it's, it's more smoothing. Um, it's more moisturizing because instead of being made with just oil, it's made with shea butter. This is a scrub, y'all. You see how thick it is? It's like almost like a body butter. I got my finger upside down and it's still on my finger. If you look... You can see the sugar in there suspended in the shea butter. Absolute favorite product right there. And just to show y'all, I'm going to show you how it is on the back of my hand. I got a little bit here. And you see how it just melts in. But all those little pieces, that's the sugar that you see. You can hear it. And when you're done, I'm telling you, it's just like putting on your body butter, like exfoliating and everything, and then putting on your body butter while you're in the shower and the bathtub. So, you want to make sure you rinse off. I didn't rinse so it's sticky because the sugar, but once you rinse with the water, it's not sticky because the water is going to actually remove the residue from the sugar crystals. Okay? So that's the Shea Butter Scrub. This is my favorite product. You can see how thick it is and I've been using it. And with those scrubs, people, you only want to use them no more than twice a week. I did have somebody tell me that the body polish was harsh for them, but they told me they were using it um, every few days. And you don't want to do that. You only need to use it with this. You probably only need to use it once a week. Definitely no more than twice a week. 
that's enough. You don't need to use it any more than that. Every day, no. Every other day, no. Like pick Monday and Thursday, something like that. You don't need to use it every day. And my last um, product is one of my best sellers too. Between this and the Shea Butter Scrub are the two products people like the best. This is my whipped body frosting, which is like a um a body butter, but it's more whipped. It's not as heavy or as thick as a body butter. It's more of a fluffier light um, texture. If y'all can see, like I'm pulling it up and y'all can see how it spreads like a cream. So just to show y'all. I have it on the back of my hand here. I'm just going to rub it in so you can see how it just melts into your skin. Again, it's really light. Um, it's not a heavy cream. It's not like a bomb. So for people that want like a little bit lighter, it's starting to heat up some places. You want something a little lighter, this is it. Um, my best friend says she likes to use this at night before she gets in the bed. She really likes using it at night. Um... I keep this jar right here in my purse. So at work, when I go to the bathroom and everything, this is what I put on my hands when I come back from using the restroom. And it does wonders. So this hand has the body oil on it. And this hand has the whipped body frosting on it. You can see I don't have any ash. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Those are the four products. Um, and that's what I've been doing. And like I said, I'm really proud of them and I wanted to share it with y'all so y'all can see what I've been doing and I also plan on doing a um, a giveaway and I'm going to post another video tonight on the giveaway that I'm going to do. Um, I want it to be really good and I want people to participate so I want to actually have two winners and I want to think of something that I need y'all to submit to me like something. It's going to be good though. I want I want a good giveaway. And it's going to be when I have people pick two uh, products that they want. And then I'll just send it to them. And that'll be theirs. They can have it. Okay. Two full-size products. So be on the lookout for that. Um, If you guys want information on my line, Ombrios, you can find it online at www.ombrios.com. That's A-M-B-R-E-O-S-E. Dot com. You can purchase online. Um, I do have an online store. And if you guys have any questions about skin or skincare, um, feel free to send me those questions. I, I want to do, matter of fact, do that. Send me questions on skincare because I want to do a video on like the top skincare questions and answers because I get a lot of questions on that. So send me um, questions that you guys have on skincare and I will answer those for you, okay? And I also have a blog too. I forgot because I just started it. You guys can visit my blog at ombrioscollection.blogspot.com and I'll put all of that in the description box and or on the video so you guys have that. So, you know, um, comment on this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber, please, if you don't mind. Um, send me messages, inbox, leave comments on my channels, or however you, you guys want to do it, just to get in contact with me. I love hearing from you. I love reading my comments, and I will be responding to all of those um, messages that I've received that I haven't had a chance to respond to yet. I will be responding to those. So, thank you guys so much. Um, I love you. Thank you for following me, and, um, sending me messages telling me to get back on here and keeping track of like what I've been doing. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you all so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.